hooks, palms, used in a slightly different way than they were in Changchun. Of course, there's no claws in Changchun, but a lot of solid ground stance move, a lot of really quick footwork. The acrobatic techniques are still similar, but there, there are slight variations in the way that athletes can land those techniques. And then, of course, the Nantran yell that you'll hear as athletes demonstrate the exertion of power. And here we go, the first athlete, Nima Magar from Nepal. This is women's Nantran. <coughs> Setting up for her first difficulty component. There's an outside crescent kick, jumping crescent kick, 360 degree turn. There's one of the, those variations in the combinations, a jump inside kick to a jump front kick combo. But the requirement is landing on one leg for the Southern style, uh, which is a challenge and a test of their balance. And as you see with Nima, there were uh, slight mishaps in her balances, so most likely uh, she'll get deducted for that. There we see a jump inside fall. Oh, stumble and hands down on the kip up. Now, of course, as we saw from yesterday, there were a couple of athletes who had this deduction come up. And as we know, anytime that your hands hit the ground, it's considered a fall. And it is a 0.3 deduction. And as with uh, any wushu competition, what you're looking for is Again, the understanding of the athlete in terms of the application of technique and whether they're able to showcase that in their routine with their striking, with their stances, with their kicks. And that is what really differentiates a high-performing elite athlete from that of just one demonstrating movement. Here we saw Nima doing the front jump kick into a single leg balance. Jump inside fall, and here we see the stumble as she comes up. Just a little too far back. And that's really where the judges on the uh, jump kicks are looking for the height, the uh, contact point, and uh, the control of the leg and showing and demonstrating the kicking technique. As we await for Nima's score from Nepal, we have Jen Xin He on deck, and she is from Hong Kong. Looks like there's a little bit of calibration going on from the judges. Being a score out of 10, the A score or the technical component is out of 5, whereas it is marked on a deduction basis and the judges are looking for errors to deduct. The B score out of 3 is a performance given score, whereas the three judges are providing a score indicating the overall performance capability of the athlete in terms of their intent, their expression, their speed and power, and how they utilize that in their routine. And then finally, we have the C score, which is a component out of two, and that is a deduction-based score made up of the difficulty uh, requirements and movements of the athlete. So uh, whether or not they complete that difficulty component is an uh, indicator whether or not the judges will uh, deduct or allow for that uh, mark to be given. 
Yeah, we saw some really long fields of play yesterday with 80 plus competitors in male Changchun. I believe the Chinese athlete was able to take away the gold medal with a 9.7. Alan, I'm really interested to see if we're going to see any duplicate scores that are able to get that high in a performance value. I believe we might be able to see that again replay in some of the other China athletes. But what we predominantly saw were the 9.6s were around where the top podium finishers were. And here is our final score for Nima Magar from Nepal. It is 7.55. So definitely she had a series of deductions uh, for her stability and in addition